It's Henry. And mowers and blowers. Good morning. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I said, you know what? I am going to tackle that tractor. This is the tractor I got from uh, Nick from Medford, and uh, it has no engine. That's a hood he gave me a while back, but now that he gave me three or four new, newer hoods, I'm thinking about swapping that hood out with another one in the back. I've got a yucky seat over there I'm gonna mount. I got a muffler, and as you can see, there's no engine. So my thought process was to try to build this uh, tractor up into like another Franken tractor four, you know what I mean? This area here is in terrible shape, like really, really rusted out and flaking and all that. And uh, this hood, while it, you know, it looks like it matches, almost the same gray color, right? Uh, it has like bracket issues, like one of the brackets is cracked, you know, whatever, and it, it's gonna need some modifications to, to get it right, you know? So maybe I will try to do that, uh, maybe save the other hood for another uh, thing. But I think the color might match a little better if I use the rounder nose, you know, from the, the newer LT1000. Uh, this rear tire's good, the side tire's good. Left front is Dunsky. Right front is Dunsky. And I have this seat that is also, I mean, you know, it's okay. It has this bracket, you know, it's pretty easy to mount. And I could just gorilla glue that, you know what I mean? Uh, gorilla tape it. As you know from a previous episode recently, I uh, put new valves, well not new, but used, right? New valves into uh, that 13.5 flathead engine. Um, it has a couple of stripped head bolts in there, so I don't know if the compression is going to be any good. I think basically that engine is pretty much Dunsky because it's not just the valves or the head bolt stripping. It's also the, uh, the, one of the valve sleeves are homemade and it's not supposed to be that way. So I think with time, it's going to, if it miraculously starts and works, right? With time, it'll deteriorate and it will no longer have compression again. So I'm pretty sure that engine is pretty much Dunsky, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on here just to humor myself to see whether or not it'll start, you know what I mean? Um, if not, I have like five or six other engines. But uh, in the meantime though, uh, I have a local guy around here uh, named Mark. He was the one who gave me that um, 18.5 Briggs power built uh, engine that just needed a head gasket, which I did. So I could actually just put that engine on, but I'm not gonna put that engine on this. You know, that's a good engine. Seems like a good engine. I don't know. Either way, I've got some engines. But anyway, he gave me a call this morning and he says, uh, give me a call when you wake up. When I woke up, I gave him a call. He lives locally here, like maybe uh, five, 10 minutes away from here. Anyway, he has a small engine shop out of his house and uh, he has two lawn tractors and he's moving to another location so he doesn't wanna take it with him. So he gave me a call today, he says, hey, you want two lawn tractors? How am I gonna say no, right? I've got so many engines, might as well, right? Uh, so I'll, I'll go get them. I'm gonna hopefully try to stuff the two into my van. I have stuffed three at the very most uh, in my van before, you know, with other deals from uh, Nick from Medford. But uh, these two are somewhat bigger ones, so I don't know if I can fit both of them in there. So I had to just clean out my van and uh, make room for it. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm off to Mark's house to get those two tractors. And then after I get them home, we'll try to work on this today.
back. Really pretty easy to load the two into the garage and then even easier to get them out because I just threw them out and they rolled right down, you know. Uh, so I want to show you this one first. This is, guess what this is? You guys know what this is. This is a power no more engine. I've had about two or three of these. Uh, I got them from Nick from Medford. Every one of them I had had a blown connecting rod. Um, guess what's wrong with this one? That's right, a blown connecting rod. This is a Craftsman 420cc, the kind they put on the more recent uh, Craftsman tractors by MTD. Um, they're very unreliable and um, also every one I've had had a blown connecting rod. Free wheels. One finger. Look at that. <laughs> one finger. But you know what? I've sold the flywheel and uh, parts of it uh, for pretty good money, you know? It's got a muffler. And the rest of this tractor is your typical LT1000. Um, looks like the wheels all hold air is what um, Mark said. Good gas tank. Actually, this body's pretty good. This body is better than the one I'm working on now, Franken Tractor 4, you know? The seat is Dunsky. You know, now I'm starting to think, you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying, right? That maybe I should stop working on that one and start working on this one. Huh? What do you think? That might be a better option, actually, because this is a far better conditioned tractor than the one I have, you know? Hmm. I'm thinking the wheels be a turning. They be a turning, all right? It's a newer style uh, LT1000 hood, the rounder one. It's good shape, too. And this one here, very nice condition. Pull on, red one too. Look at the seat. The seat is like a Murray rubber, just a rubber, you know, uh, skin over it. And it never goes away, it never breaks, you know. So good seat, excellent condition, right? Really good shape. It's got really weeny wheels on the back though. It's like 16. 16 inches it's got a deck too how about that huh so this one he uh, doesn't remember but uh, his friend gave it to him apparently it doesn't really need anything I don't think uh, it's just been sitting for a while you know and just got to get it get it started again but uh, he couldn't tell me whether or not there was anything really wrong with it so you know what I might put some bigger wheels on them you know, right and uh, I don't have a deck flap though. It needs a deck flap there. But the deck looks pretty good. It's kind of under um, powered, being at a 12.5, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. So I'm gonna think about this for a minute. I was just about to start working on this, right? Just take a look at the condition of this tractor. Now, why would I want to work on this, right? It's got no deck and it's, the body is just trash. You know what I'm saying? Or I could work on this one, put the engine on here, right? Uh, but then again, this, this one's, uh, for me to put a 13.5 is kind of underpowering it too, you know? Darn. Decisions, decisions. I'll tell you what though, I'm definitely gonna work on this one before I work on that one, you know what I mean? Look at the condition of this one compared to that one. They both don't have decks, right? So what's the difference, right? But I am curious as to see if that flathead will, will work. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on this one instead of the gray one. I'm gonna strip the gray one and chuck it because it's really trash, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I won't trash it yet because, you know, it still is a rolling chassis engine, right? So I will park it in the back for a while until I get to it, you know, because it has everything. It just needs a lot of work. But uh, I could just work on this one, put it, put the flathead on this one and see if it works. It doesn't have a deck anyway, you know. This one, I don't think it's going to take too long to uh, get it running. But uh, being it needs a flap, I don't have a flap, you know. I want to swap around the wheels and stuff to make it more beefier. And then we'll get that engine running, you know. But I'll park this in the back for now. I'll roll this to the uh, front and we'll put an engine on this one. So I uh, had to take this back off again because the uh, choke linkage wasn't attached. This thing was not in there. So now I have to take the carb off again, get that on there. I gotta connect this, I gotta connect the fuel line. Bone dry. Got to put some gas in there. Um, Got to get a battery. I don't have a battery. I have a sort of a dead battery, but I could put the dead battery in and put a charger on it. Got to get a key. I was lucky that this harness fit right on here. Direct play. Plug and play. Attach the uh, starter cable on here. I'm gonna go get the uh, dead battery out of my van, connect it onto here, put a charger to it, and see if it starts. Uh, I'm a little worried because look, it's not very much compression at all, except right there, a little bit. Compression stroke, right? There, very little though. So I don't think this will start, to be honest with you fellas. So I think this is all for naught, but I'm gonna try anyway.
Okay, I just put gas in here. Got the charger onto the dead battery. So I don't think that's gonna work. I might have to get my jumper pack if that doesn't work. Connected the throttle to the throttle bracket. Got a new fuel line with a fuel shutoff. And like I said, I put gas in it. Check the oil, it's brand new and it's up to levels. So I'm gonna try to crank it, but it's not gonna crank because the battery's probably dead. So I have to put a jumper pack to it, but let's try anyway. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn the key. The key doesn't, it's kind of hinky, it doesn't really turn. not strong enough. We put the battery pack onto it. That ought to work. Let's see. Choke it. Yeah, I don't think so, fellas. Just no compression, you know? Let me test the compression and see. Took the spark plug out. I got my compression tester. Let's see how much compression we have. We have 25 compression. It's no good. No good at all. It's not going to start. 25 compression. I think it has something to do with the valves and the uh, bad bolt, whatever. So, what am I going to do? Should I put another engine on here? Of course I'm gonna put another engine on here. Do I have time to do it today? I guess I do. as you guys saw from time-lapse I uh, took
took the 13.5 flathead off. Uh, I'll save it for like when I run into another flathead, you know what I mean? That might need parts for it, you know? Uh, if I can get another block for it, maybe I'll rebuild it or something like that. I'm not looking forward to it, but I've got a lot of engines now, so I've got my choice. I'll just, I'll just keep it in the back of the garage for now, you know? It's intact and everything. It's got all the parts. If I run into another flathead, maybe I'll fix it, whatever, you know? Anyway, so this is the first of the five or six rebuilt engines that I had put together and put it aside for future projects, right? So I was gonna just use the one that the, this guy Mark gave me last time, right? He gave me an engine um, and I just changed the um, head gasket on it. it. Still might smoke because he said maybe the rings need replacing, but I didn't do it yet, you know? Uh, I was gonna try to put it on a tractor and see if it still smoked. But I think it might've just been the head gasket, you know? So I think that might be good. Uh, but that's an 18.5 engine. I guess it probably would have been fitting if I just put it on here. But this one doesn't have a deck either, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't know what's going to happen with this. Um, so this is a, I want to say it's like a 17 horsepower engine. Um, I'm not really 100% sure since I, I made it out of parts, you know what I mean? I'm not even sure if this will run because, like I said, I made it out of parts, you know? So I may have a 31 cubic inch connecting rod in there with a 33 inch head. I'm not sure, you know, I just don't remember, you know? But I think I rebuilt it pretty well, is what I remember, you know? I, I might, it might have just been the uh, synchro balancer that was replaced, and maybe the connecting rod was fine. I'm, I'm just not 100% sure. But I always had a hinky um, cover, you know? It was that, uh, I wanna say burgundy color one, you know, burgundy color one, and it didn't have this cover on it. Well, Nick just gave me this from that parts haul that I just had the other day, you know? And this fits on here perfectly with a, um, the elbow bend and everything. I had put this sticker on here a while back. It says, add oil, has zero. Needs a muffler. We put a muffler on here. Um, I got it from somewhere or whatever. I have a muffler, fits perfectly. I just added oil. Um, Lucas Oil, SAE 30 plus. Uh, I added about one, one cord and a little bit. Seems right there on the money. You know, I'll, I'll add if necessary. And I need a cover and an elbow. And I just got an elbow from uh, Nick from that parts haul. There was one in there perfectly that matched this. So we're all set. Uh, I connected the battery um, cable from the solenoid, the harness. I connected the magneto, the stator, and the lights. On the other side, the throttle linkages, the fuel line. And uh, it's got gas in it. It now has oil in it. So you know what? Should we just go crazy? Should we just go nuts? Let's just go crazy and let's go nuts. Probably not gonna start. I might have to use the jumper pack again, but let's just see, okay? We're at choke. All right, so it's not enough juice. I'm gonna turn on the battery pack now. Seems like something's like screwy over here. This one has good compression though. But this grill thing here has always been kind of hinky, you know what I'm saying? I almost want to take it off. Let's give it some more cranks. Let's see. So, I don't know what's going on. It's not making any, uh, check for spark maybe. So I just took the bowl off and uh, there was ass gas in the bowl, you know, and also the valve was cut, but not completely. So I just cut it even more, you know. I'm gonna give it a try. Jump it back. Okay, now I'm going to spray some stuff into the carb, just to see.
Hmm, maybe it's not getting any spark. Let me check for spark. Remove the spark plug, check it out. Excellent spark, so I don't get it. While we have the spark plug out, put the compression tester on there. See how much compression we have. Showing about 60. But you know what though? These compression testers are not very accurate at all, you know, because of the um, ACR, the uh, compression release. So. so a big uh, hurdle for me is not having a good battery to test this with, you know what I mean? So every time I test it, that jump pack, right, it'll only give you a couple of bursts, you know what I mean? It takes forever to char recharge it again, you know? So I think I might have to go and buy a couple of batteries. That way we can test it better. Uh, it did backfire a couple of times when it so I'm gonna go back and watch the video of me putting this engine together too, just to see exactly what I did, you know what I mean? Uh, I, mean I can't imagine that I put the key in wrong or something like that, you know, like for it to be out of time. And I'm sure that I did a valve lash on the clearance too for the valves. So, um, I mean, I think I just threw a carburetor on there, but it should have at least turned over when I sprayed stuff in there, whether the carburetor works well or not, you know? But uh, I'm not gonna be able to get this thing going in one day, obviously, you know what I'm saying? This is the second engine we tried today, but uh, the haul of getting this tractor and the other tractor is a pretty good score, you know? Uh, that red Poulon, yeah, it looks really good, you know, it looks really nice. Put some bigger wheels on there, I bet you I can get that engine started up and, and running. and. Uh, has a deck on there too, so that's a, a big score. But I do need to go get a couple of batteries, and that's what I'll do tomorrow. And then we'll continue with this tomorrow. Thanks a lot for joining me in today's episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage, but they come out driving. Hey, you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.